Working with the transformer is another part that is important, especially when it is on load, like what we are given. Uh, in the previous case, we managed to consider uh, when this transformer is not on load, when there is no load uh, that is given. And uh, from the discussion that we had, if you are to remember, if you're part of that class, we had this equivalent circuit diagram on no load. If the, the load is not there, where I say the output is supposed to be equal to zero and you're going to have this uh, presentation, the reactances and resistances that you have and the currents uh, that you are also going to present on your vector or phasor diagram uh, and also some of the calculations that are necessary uh, from your info, I think you can relate much. When it is now considered to be on load, you can see the difference this time. It will be output. We are now having a connection. There is now a load on the output. So there, we're going to have our V1 terminal voltage, the current that is entering from the supply. And because of R1 and X1, the resistance and the reactance we are going to have the impedance Z1. So Z1 will be representing impedance Z2, impedance again on the secondary side. Okay, then uh, the currents, we had these currents before, the current IO, which is uh, the no load current, I see the colors and I am the magnetizing comp uh, component we talked about this and having our generated EMF uh, on the primary side with the number of tens. So on the currents, because of I2 that we are having on this side, I2 that we are having on this other side, this side we are going to have this as I2 bar like this with a bar, which is the secondary current referred to the primary side. The secondary current referred to the primary side. Some other books, they can just take this I1 and write it as I1 bar like that. It depends with the textbook that you are using, okay? Uh, but what is important is that according to your understanding or textbook, they use that, then you present it that way. But this is just a current which is referred to the primary side. Secondary current referred to the what? To the primary side. So that is depend with your textbook, how they present that, okay? So due to this impedance that we are having, Definitely, and the current, we're going to talk of the voltage drops that are happening, the voltage drops that are happening. So at the end, we are going to notice that the difference is because of these voltage drops that are occurring. We are not going to have the same voltage at the, at the output because of that. But what is important is that this time there is a load that is there and also the presentation of a diagram. As you can see, it's not uh, that much from what we had. So this will be our phaser diagram now or the vector diagram that you are going to be having and on this part it is very very important uh, remember our uh, useful flux and I am in the horizontal in this horizontal line uh, in the vertical that is where we are going to have your IC so current the currents there is the no load current I1 and that I2 by the one that we said and is the secondary current referred to that to the primary so this is the one that you are going to be having there, which is in the same line with this one. If you check, they are in the same line with the V2. Yes, in the same line with the V2. So you will notice something about this because of this vertical line. Remember the vertically opposite angles. So you're going to see that the angle that is representing the angle that is between the V1, uh, which is our E1, and this current uh, that is I2 bar is the same. This angle that you'll be having will be the same as the angle that you are having there, which is this one that is represented as theta 2. It's only that on my uh, presentation, I cover this, this one, the theta 2, this one. Okay, let me try to increase it. The theta 2 that we are seeing, this one. Uh, uh, the phi 2 that we are seeing. So if you consider that angle phi to like this, you see that what is it that we are forming? 
uh where's the v2 okay guys you see now because of the lines here i need where the v2 is here where this v2 is straight where the v2 and the i2 is okay so you're going to notice that that same angle will be the same uh this is our phi 2 will be the same as this angle that we are having which is phi 2 also as the angle because these two angles are subdivided like this okay let's take this straight line another straight line like this extend it like that so we are going to see also that we are having vertically opposite angles on the other hand but this will be the difference between the currents which is not important as we are minding this one between i2 and v2 this is the one that you you have to relate and that is referred to as phi 2 and that is representing that i2 is lagging v2 i2 is lagging v2 uh, which is the same that current is the same as this one that is presented here where you are talking of this uh, i2 bar related to what related to e1 that is the condition that you're going to have and we have got the phi 1 this one which is relating what? I1. This one is taken from what? I1. So it's I1 related to what? To E1. Or uh, you can use uh, V1 in your presentation. Uh, then for this I0, which is the uh, considering our no load, this is the one that we are having here for the no load, this one, which is the uh, phi not this one, is representing the angle that is affecting I not with what with the e that we that is the major part that we have and they they will just want you to present these guys do not worry about a lot of things to say okay this diagram what is it looking like guys they just want you to have this so make sure that you are able mm -hmm. to redraw as it is and like I said some other textbook here they used i one instead of uh, the i two uh, bar that we are given there they can use uh, that part and this i1 x1 we also have i2 x2 we are now talking of the voltage uh drops due to reactances okay these will be voltage drops due to reactances whereas i1 r1 i2 r2 they are now voltage drops due to what resistances due to resistance these ones were due to the reactances so these uh, some of the other things that you actually need. So let us just uh, just save the writing here in short. Uh, like I said about the angles, because the major part is going to be on the angle. So let's start with phi naught. Okay, this is the no load first angle. So this is going to be our no, uh, no load phase angle. That is the no load uh, phase angle, meaning to say, uh, what does it mean? This current legs uh, E1, uh, according to that, or it can be uh, written as, uh, as V1. So in this case, uh, that is I0 legging. Uh, legs V1 by what? By the angle that we are given uh, there. Then on number two, okay, let's just say it's the first one. Uh, the second one is going to be our phi to this one, phi one, this one that is between current one and E1. So it's going to be the angle that is going to be lagging. Okay, so you also consider of phi one, the angle. Uh, so this is going to be the angle uh, I1 legs, okay, V1. So it will be lagging. Uh, v1 or you can consider uh, that as e2 according to your presentation then on three we also consider uh, this phi2 here okay it is gonna be i2 lagging so take note as long the current like voltage is starting and the current is found on the other hand voltage current that current is gonna be lagging so if you check here the voltage is starting the current is on the other hand uh, as we go in the clockwise so it means uh, that case that will be i2 lagging v1 okay so it's gonna be the angle uh, that's gonna be the angle i2 uh, legs of v2 so it's gonna be considered as v2 okay uh, that will be 
I2 lagging what? Uh, lagging V2. That's the major part uh, that actually you will need in the presentation. And sometimes they can actually ask you to present this without the voltages, that is the vector diagram, ignoring all those uh, voltage drops, uh, meaning to say we could not just save our currents like this. So this is how it is going to be like in our presentation. Uh, there's something, there's something, there's something that we also need to consider uh, also here. Okay, so this was I not I one I two. Okay, that angle there alpha is actually gonna be here. So this presentation, guys, you see, they present something else here. They present something else. So you can actually have it here. Uh, that is this phi two, this one. Okay, the phi two from our vertically opposed angles is gonna be this one. But guys, this is the new presentation, like the new textbook, actually there. Like the, the one they said it's it's revised. Okay, anyways, let's see. So we're gonna have uh this presentation, and according to the currents, as it is, guys, our I1, I not I2, uh bar, which is the one where we are referring back to the secondary side, uh, refer to the primary, and we're gonna have our I2 in that case. So these are the angles that you're gonna have, like I said before. Uh, let's start with the uh, theta, not this one, is representing our theta, not our phi, not this one, which is uh, the no load phase angle, which is the angle by which the no load current I or legs the applied voltage V1. Then we also talk of this uh, phi one, all of this, uh, going this side here, this one. It is affecting what? I1. So I1 from where? From V1. So it's going to be, uh, that is our phi1, this one, the angle by which I1 legs V1. So this is what you're going to have. Then phi2 is the one that is here, uh, in between here. That is the same as this angle that we are seeing also here. So it's I2 legging what? Legging V2. So that is the one. Uh, the angle by which I2 legs V2, where I1 is the primary current, as we do understand, guys. Uh, I think everything, we are used to that. And like I said about the I2 bar, this one, it represents the secondary current referred to the primary side. Uh, depending with the textbook, also on the presentation, it can be given uh, in any other way. So we are going to see uh, applications. Uh, mostly they just want you to have diagrams on this one. Uh, they just want you to have the diagrams. Do not worry much. So know your diagrams. Then on another class that we're going to have, we're going to start our calculations now on our transformers. So be prepared for the calculations.